So we're loaded and headed for Chicago. It's Friday, October 30th, 2.45 Eastern. Uh, they got protect time for 6 a.m. It's an eight hour drive. So I'll be there tonight before midnight. Hopefully I can drop off tonight. Uh, surprised I got the load. I got called with the load like first thing this morning, which I was surprised at because I had three, three drivers ahead of me today. They was able to get everybody out of here. Uh, so I'm in a rush. I just kind of, they called me with it early. It wasn't supposed to pick up until 7 o'clock tonight. Uh, they just called me to come over and get it. So just brushed my teeth. Got a few provisions and heading down the road. Last time I was at this place, it was freezing. Snowed like crazy. Shit show back here. Let's see how it goes today. There it is. You see, got them suckers off. It's 11:22 Eastern, and I'm supposed to have a reload on Sunday out of Michigan. So we'll see if that happens. So as soon as I get off of here, get done here, I'm gonna head over to Michigan give me all day Saturday to kind of get caught up on everything I didn't do while I was running so that should be nice all right
So we're here picking up in uh, Michigan near Grand Rapids. We're going to Dallas, Texas. We have five pieces at 1,341 pounds. Uh, you should be able to see back here. It's all full up, no bunk. 15 hour and 24 minute drive says I'll be there at 1215 Central. It is now 951 Eastern AM. Uh, I don't know if they're going to take it off. Got a protect time of 10 a.m. Hopefully, they're going to take it off when I get it there because I'm going to get it straight there. It was supposed to be... I was going to lose my bunk regardless, but it was supposed to be five pieces. Uh, and the dims were supposed to be 48 by 45 by 34, which they were stackable and then they would have fit. Get here and they have six skids. Uh, four of them at 48 by 45 by 41 what these places aren't doing is they're not like with these parts they have back here they have a they have a plastic pallet on the bottom and then they have a plastic topper which is basically the same as the bottom that way they can stack them they kind of interlock well they don't take into account when they do their measurements on those so it was you know seven inches taller than what it should have been so uh and then there was two small ones that was 48 by 45 by like 24. So was able to take five pieces still, but it was three of them at 48 by 45 by 41. And then two of them 48 by 45 by like 24. So, <clears throat> and it was supposed to be 1,700 pounds. Now it's 1,300 pounds. So that part's good. Uh, yeah, just going to get it up there. Uh didn't do anything yesterday Saturday got some rest after a rough week last week a busy week and <laughs> plan was to get a few things done get the van cleaned up a little bit and uh, get some editing done get some spreadsheet stuff taken care of and I did nothing but sleep pretty much all day so I ah, feel good man I just feel so refreshed Oh, you damn seatbelt. I am so refreshed, man. I got so much sleep. Uh, I love sleeping in the front seat. Um, I wish I got a full load all the time so that I could sleep in the front seat all the time. Man, I am whooped. I got here. At like 3 o'clock in the morning. <sighs> About 3 o'clock in the morning central. At the original uh, address I had. They're telling me I need to come over here. Call dispatch. Because you got to let anybody know. If you, don't, if you don't deliver. If the original address you go to they tell you that they want you to go to another location to deliver no matter how close it is you gotta call and make sure it's okay really gotta make sure it's okay to move or to go over there and deliver which I came over here and everything cause it's gonna come here regardless but I couldn't deliver it when I got over here, which was about, well, that's when it was about 3 o'clock. I actually got to the first location about 2.20, and then I got over here about 3. And the customer did not want me to deliver. The delivery time, protect time was actually 10.30. So they just now called me, dispatch did, 6.30 Central. Yeah, they said you can go ahead and deliver that there. Man. So now I'm trying to deliver it. When I got to the security guard, first he told me, oh, it's a 9 o'clock appointment. You can come back in at uh, 8.45. I'm like, oh, man. So here I am, going to try and get unloaded. All right.
so we're loaded and this one was a little bit of a had some difficulties getting the freight uh, got here and they had no clue I <laughs> blah, blah. they had no idea what I was here to get gave them the pickup number gave them where I was going to uh, they just had no clue <clears throat> so we had to had to keep calling dispatch dispatch calling the customer and on and on and on about what time is it 244 so about 30 35 minutes later we got it all figured out uh, so I am loaded with one skid at 900 pounds it's going 553 miles to Tennessee it's going to uh, deliver in the morning well it's got a 7 a.m. protect time I'll be there obviously tonight not sure if I'll be able to get it off or not but you know me I'm gonna get there but this is just one of the things though you guys gotta be ready to deal with you know you gotta have some patience in there you get in there you get all shitty they get all shitty it just makes the whole experience of shitty uh, you know the guy was appreciative that I had patience I told him that I appreciated him having patience because without both of us having patience it don't work out but there's so many drivers man that just just don't give a shit they go in there and act a fool and it's just it's unproductive unproductive so uh, yeah be prepared to come into these places and possibly have a problem getting the freight man like I said the information just hadn't caught up to this end it was already brokered and put out but it was it didn't get to this end yet by the time I was here happens pretty often all right so I'm gonna get going uh, just got all my information in got it all strapped down uh, hitting the send button now and let's see Let's see. It's an 8 hour and 13 minute drive. Times are saying we're going to get there. It's saying 11.03. 11.03 tonight. So, I... so we are delivered it is 745 Eastern we had a little bit of fun finding this place last night because there is a McKnight Street and a McKnight Road and uh, McKnight Road wasn't coming up with an 11 McKnight Road. McKnight Street came up with an 11. So went to McKnight Street first. Uh, because it was the only thing showing that address and showing something on the on the map. Got there and it was not it. So delivering to a Tyson location so went to the two Tyson places that were showing up on the map and neither one of those Turn right onto McKnight Road. neither one of those was McKnight nor even number 11 or anything like that so came over here and just uh, just to take a drive down this other McKnight and then found a little bumpy ass just makeshift road that leads you back to a to a Tyson that location uh, a Tyson plant that's being Turn right onto US 45 West North North Central Avenue. took us to a Tyson plant that was being built and that ended up being the location so camped out there on site woke up got delivered take the next right onto US 45 West North North Central Avenue 
where I'm sitting. It's near Jackson, Tennessee. It's just north of there, which is kind of no man's land for freight. So I'm going to move over towards Nashville. Memphis is closer, but Memphis just isn't always the greatest place for freight. And you go there. Continue on US 45 West, north for one and a half miles. And you go there, and it's uh, it's also when you do get stuff out of there, it can be really short. So uh, going to move over to Nashville. Uh, kind of open. Uh, normally, normally over there in that area, you get up to Michigan or something, Michigan, Chicago, uh, Ohio or something. So that's the. That's the play we're trying for by going over that way. Because then if we get up to Michigan, you got a good chance of getting a shot out to KC and just, you know, we kind of get in our in our good freight lanes for this company. That's a pretty good sized plant that they're building back there. So it's kind of dude. At like 5.30 this morning. Got this big ass barbecue, mobile barbecue pit out there, freaking you know, getting the thing all started and smoked up and everything ready for lunch. I guess they must have a lot of people to come out there, which there was quite a few people pulling into there. Because as I said, that's a huge facility that's being built. But it's just crazy, man. They got a damn barbecue pit on site for these people. Mile, turn left onto US 45 West. US 45 West bypass. Freaking, I like some barbecue and all, but can't say that I like the smell of pork barbecue and all that shit coming in my van at freaking 5:30 in the morning. Turn left onto US 45 West. US 45 West bypass. I woke up about 5.44. was due to deliver at 7. Oh, Continue shit. Continue for 15 miles. But, I couldn't go back to sleep, man. Tried to, just couldn't. Then just kind of poking out. There was a couple other trucks there. There was one other Sprinter van there. But, shit, he was gone. He was gone ASAP, so either he got unloaded or just had a small package to deliver because he was gone. No kind of lettering or anything on his van, so no idea who he was with. But I'm going to get on down the road. I'm rambling. I'm going to get on down the road and hopefully grab something today. I'll be getting there about 927. So that's going to be central time. I'll let you guys in a bit. Okay, so we are here in Kentucky. We are loaded. We have three pieces at 1,062 pounds. And we are going to Kansas City. And so the plan, moving to... Uh, over near Nashville where I went worked out how I wanted I either wanted Kansas City or Michigan because those are two two good freight areas for us so uh, protect time is 7 a.m. tomorrow morning I'll be there tonight not sure if they're gonna be open but normally they are so hopefully I'll get this off tonight and be good to go, man. Got my oil changed today. Went to Walmart, picked up a few items. So we're good. So uh, while I was here, there was a truck driver that came in there. <clears throat> it was a guy by the name of Daisy. Daisy had on a really nice pink skirt and a pink hanky and pink hair yeah he looked very pretty told you 
It's drivers out here, man. We got problems.